Guys, it's early, but you know, I'm addicted to garage sailing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Zesty and I had this grand plan of sleeping in and going to the north side of town, Good Goodwill Bins. Um, I just woke up and I was just like, well, since I'm awake, I might as well go and meet up with Zesty later. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to get some garage sailing in and some Goodwill Bins in. If you like that, stick around, hit that sub button. Thank you guys. So we are headed back to the west side of town uh, yet again this episode. Uh, feeling good about the, the haul that we got last time we went out there. So hopefully we can strike gold again. And uh, hopefully this time we'll do a little bit more filming of stuff there. All right, guys, it is 8 o'clock and we are like 1.5 miles away. Uh, so we're on time today, kind of. <laughs> All right, y'all, we have arrived. Uh, first two sails are right next to each other. There's one over there, one over there. We're going to get after it. Let's go. All right, so a lot of clothes at the first one today. We keep trekking on. Let's go check this one out. We have been going back and forth about getting one of these for booth. <laughs> Ten bucks, not bad though. Got ourselves a Mark McGuire bobblehead, iconic in St. Louis. Spotted a drum set and a couple guitars. How are you guys doing? I'm not sure if it'll sell to a cheap spin. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you guys root for? <laughs> I, I, honestly, I root for the New York Jets, so okay. you know, it's almost the same sport, but not you know, quite. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's tough, right? It's tough. <laughs> I'm, I'm going for the sympathy play here. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I understand. Do you guys have any more uh, video game related stuff by chance? Oh, you do. We okay. Do. We got some games. We do. Got some games up here. I don't think we have any other paraphernalia. Gotcha. Like we don't have any other like accessories. No, I don't. Know. I can ask Jack. No, I don't. He might know. But those are the ones you're really willing to give up. Yeah. Oh, that's the only thing that concerns me on that. But pretty good deal. I have the CD. <laughs> All right, so we picked up both those games for a dollar fifty, or one CD, one game, rather. Look at the Eeyore. <laughs> No date. Looks like brats. 
How's it going, guys? How are you? Doing pretty good. Good. What's going on? Not much. You guys don't happen to have any uh, like Sega or Nintendo stuff for sale, do you? Did Mark take all the, the uh... Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. Pop abs. I feel like I'm a real sucker for the like old Marlboro stuff back when you used to be able to buy stuff with points. Uh, this is actually a poncho and it comes with like a little bag and everything. It was only two bucks. They wanted a buck for the hip hop abs. So I mean, pretty okay. We have free stuff. Cool. Probably some frames that you could repurpose into something cool. It says to even like like these. Zesty tell me if I messed up by not getting the pair of those. Update. We ended up getting them. So Zesty won't kill us. I think they're kind of cool though. So we have exhausted every single sale, including the free sale at that last neighborhood. We're going to head on over to a, I don't know, I think it's multifamily. I'm not 100% sure, but it's close. And hopefully by that time, it'll be just about time to go and meet Zesty at the North Bins. You guys don't have any more like Atari stuff, do you, by chance? No. Uh, or any like no. Sega or Nintendo you, stuff, by chance? Did you find that here? I sure did. That yeah. Was, well, that's called table. That's fine. Oh, it? gotcha. That makes sense. Uh, just wondering if you guys had any more like Atari stuff. Mm. Alrighty, guys. I mean, not too bad, right? Though we got Breakout for Atari for a whole 50 cents. I honestly don't know the value of this game because I don't really mess with a lot of Atari stuff. Uh, if you guys have watched the channel, you guys know that Atari was just a bit out of my time. I was born in 86, so I was a big Nintendo kid and a big Sega kid. So uh, let's just take a look together though and see what the value is on Breakout. I'm pretty sure it is a common game and a lot of atari stuff unless it's in box isn't super crazy uh yeah so it is a four dollar and ninety cent game nothing crazy but we have it so that's cool and i'm happy <laughs> let's go this one was sneaky to find they don't have very much parking either on their street but we found one right here Check it out. No problem. You interested in that little TV? I was looking at that thing. It's just kind of cool, right? <laughs> it turns on. Does it really? But I can't pick anything. It's cool. Why don't you just take it with you? 
<laughs> I'll give it to you. Really? Yeah. I, I, oh man, I don't even. I don't even have a price. I'm just saying that thing is. You know, I thought some kid would want to play with it or something. Yeah. So. You know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Well, he said I could have this thing for free. It's definitely interesting. I don't even... I got an app. Well, I don't know. From 80, 86. It's pretty cool. I think we're going to take it. I just mentioned to this guy that uh, since this was made in the year that I was born, I got to have it. So we now have the tiniest TV I've ever seen. I'm kind of... I don't know, excited, nervous, all of the above, uh, trying to get this to work. Well, it's just gonna be fun. I mean, let's try to hook up a system to it. Let's play Doom 95 on it, right? Upon further inspection, there's a couple that have sold on eBay and for $35 and $31 uh, with shipping, without shipping. I mean, if anything, we could make a couple bucks. I don't know. <laughs> it's just cool. This garage sale is right up Zesty's alley and I'm pretty sure she's gonna be mad she missed this one. How are you? No KC, huh? That's right. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm sailor with you. You guys have fun. When you're ready, just add it up. Okay. And as a neighbor, take half off and give it to whatever it is. Let's go see Baylor. We're gonna do some more VHS. Is it gonna happen? Our trap. The Saturday Night Fever looks great. Oh man. It's clean. I think we're going to get it. Along with the two figurines. She said that she had to attend this other stuff and to leave the money on the table and I don't have small bills so going to have to buy more stuff. <laughs> okay so I feel like we got to find something for Zesty. We got to find something for two dollars for Zesty. All right, guys, nice little haul here. I'm, 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 I'm happy. Even if the figures are nothing crazy, I'm happy to have the Slime Dray Ghostbusters. Ray is obviously my favorite. Let's go. Guys, this is the last garage sale. I hope. This one looks like it might be good. You guys don't happen to have any like uh, Sega or Nintendo stuff for sale by chance, do you? Oh, you know, we sold, what do we sold? Place? Yeah, we sold a PlayStation and an Xbox and oh, a bunch wow. of games this morning. Oh, wow, okay. You guys <laughs> so. like watches. <laughs> yeah. I'll plug in SpongeBob, one that goes to an old school. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, plug and play. <laughs> oh, plug and play. I, I, plug and plays are cool. Back in the day. That thing's kind of neat. We had a VH, uh, VHS. Yeah. yeah. That Auto thing's kind of neat. Yep, we were too late on that one, guys. I mean, it's about 9.30, so it's it's really about that time of the day when most sales are starting to dwindle a little bit and all the stuff that we're looking for is gone. Okay, guys, so we're switching gears a little bit, actually. It's a couple days later, and Zesty is not with me, unfortunately. She is working. We, uh, we took some time at the time of filming uh, to just sort of have time for ourselves. Uh, so we're getting back at the grind though this morning. We're at the bins. Um, no recording inside, so you guys will see when we get out the goodies that we discover. And uh, hopefully it's good. It's Tuesday morning. Uh, it's just always a coin flip on Tuesdays, I feel like. So we're going to get at it. Whew, it is hot in St. Louis. And also, 
I just got done moving everything over into the house for my cousin's wedding. I know Justin, my cousin Justin, uh, watches the show, so shout out to you. I hope your wedding goes well. I'm sure you guys will watch this episode afterwards. But anyway, now that we're all done moving that and the stuff out of the car, uh, this is a $20 haul. I don't know where the receipt is. I'm checking my pockets right now. I'm pretty sure it's in my car, but it's just over 20 bucks. It's like 21 or 22 and change. Uh, I think this is the first time really that we have not got anything for our personal collection from the bins. Like this is actually kind of wild. I think only one thing. And that was actually the uh, Nintendo RF switch right there. You can never let those go to waste. Um, but yeah, so going through, uh, as you guys can see, we got some more sporting equipment. I just can't stay away, but, uh, we got a catcher's mitt or catcher's mitt, a catcher's helmet right there. A regular baseball helmet. That's actually brand new with tags. Like it's got the tag on the front there. Um, a racket down here that had some decent eBay comms, uh, some, uh, catchers, uh, shin guards with the, uh, with the pads as well. So uh, the condition on these does worry me a little bit about trading them in. I mean, they definitely have some issues, but they were light enough. I was willing to take a chance on them. Uh, this uh, Buzz, we have actually sold before and he actually works. So um, we will sell him in the booth again. Um, we have a TI-36X Pro, which actually these do carry a little bit of value and this one does work. Um, it does hurt the value a little bit that it doesn't have a cover, but I'm not too worried about it because it was next to nothing to buy. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, some books for resale in the booth. Um, this DVD had some decent comps on eBay because it's sealed. Uh, this thing had, I think around a $20 comp on it. It's brand new, never opened. Always check stuff like that, guys. Um, some lego stuff in here that i couldn't really find oops couldn't really find too many comps for on ebay but i found some comps on amazon so i'm actually looking into selling into amazon uh, i haven't done it before at all if you guys have any advice for me starting out please leave a comment below um but yeah those there's a couple different versions in there but figured if we can sell them to amazon that'd be great um an elvis cassette uh, I mean, anything Elvis is just very iconic. I, we haven't sold any cassettes before, but I'm willing to take a shot on Elvis, right? Um, blank VHS, still sealed. Always pick these up. They do have value. Um, a Maglite that is kind of roached, but um, I figured if anything, someone will buy it for parts. And they're really, really light. They're just really light and durable flashlights. If you guys don't know about Maglites, um, they're just, they're good. They're good flashlights. So if you ever find one in the bins, I mean, they're only gonna be a couple bucks to pick up. Um, and then of course, this super sick sword from Minecraft uh, that will sell, I'm sure, very easily in the booth. Okay, I'm gonna take my sweaty self inside now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions though about me starting off on Amazon, please let me know, I would love to. Uh, you know, we love to build with you guys. We wanna, we want to educate you. We want you guys to educate us and just keep that circle of, uh, of love going, you know? So until then though, uh, make sure to drop a subscribe below. We're giving away a Nintendo Wii at 500 subs. We're gaining, we're pretty close. We're like 50-ish away. We'd really appreciate it guys. And until then, we'll see you later.